Hello everyone, this is uh, Dr. Vaughn again, and I am going to now record a video for you that's uh, a specific question that was asked in the board. So we're going to look at this question 5.11 and particularly question C. So we have a mean of 100, a standard deviation of 15. We want to know what proportion of IQ scores are within nine points of the mean. So this is plus nine or minus nine away from this mean of 100. So it's going to go from a range of 91 on the bottom side to 109 on the top side. And I want to know what proportion um, of the scores are in there. We're going to assume that this is a normally distributed curve. It's a normal curve. And so we're going to use the normal distribution in order to answer this question. Now in SPSS, this normal distribution, instead of looking it up in the table in the back of the book, it's actually built in as a function in here. So what I'm going to do in my first column is just put those two numbers that I'm interested in, the 109 on the bottom side and the one, uh, the 91 on the bottom side and the 109 on the top side. Now I can change the label of this by switching over to the variable view and, you know, instead of calling this bar, I'll call this the, the WAIS score or something like that. I noticed that when names, when you're naming variables in SPSS, you can't use a space. So you can use an underscore or you can use capital letters or small letters, something like that, but you can't use a space. All right, so now I'm going to go up to transform. And in the transform, we're going to use this compute variable. And in the compute variable, it looks like a big calculator over here. But there's these function groups on the right-hand side. And I'm going to go down until I find the cumulative distribution function, this CDF and non-central CDF. This opens up a whole uh, menu of different functions the Bernoulli distribution, the beta distribution, the Cauchy distribution, and what I'm looking for is the normal distribution. So CDF, cumulative distribution function for the normal function. So this is going to uh, tell me how to use that particular function, cdf.normal, quant, mean, stdev. So if I double click it, you notice it shows up up here in the numeric expression. Now in the first cell, I want the quantity that I'm computing, the cumulative normal distribution. This is the proportion of the, under the normal distribution up to that score. And the nice thing here in SPSS is I don't have to compute the z-score. I can put in the raw score because I'm going to put in the mean and the standard deviation. So I'm going to take this variable named WAIS, which are these two numbers, 91 and 109, and I'm going to put that in the first um, position of this CDF normal function. In the second position, I'm going to type the mean, which is 100. And in the third position, I'm going to write the standard deviation, which is 15. So this defines the function. Now, I'm going to put these values into a second column here in SPSS. So I need to give this a name, and this is going to be the cumulative distribution you know, function or the cumulative distribution. And uh, so I'll just call it cumulative disk. And then uh, I think that's it. Then I'm going to just hit OK. This is the output window. We can kind of ignore that. So I'm going to just delete the output window. And now here I have two digits of the proportion of the population that's less than this score over here. Now I want to go into the variable view for a minute because I want to see more than just two decimals. So I'm going to change this from two decimals up to four decimal places. And the width of eight should still be okay. So now I go over to the data view and I get these two values, 0.7257 and 0.2743. So 72.5% of the population has a WAIS score less than 109, and 27.43% of the population has a WAIS score less than 91. So between 91 and 109 is just the difference between these two numbers. So in order to answer this question um, from the homework, this question 5.11, part C, using SPSS, all I need to do is subtract these two numbers from one another. Now, you can do this in SPSS. It's probably easier at this point just to type it into a calculator, but take uh, 0.7257 minus 0.2743, and that's the proportion of uh, the population that falls within nine points of the mean uh, for this uh, question 5.11 part C. All right, and so you can do all the other parts of this question in SPSS just like this. And uh, since I'm on this video, so uh, I won't have to make another one like this, let me just hop over to one more question from your homework. And let's look down here at this uh, uh, 5.13.
where we're now um, finding, we want to find the scores that correspond to different sorts of percentiles. So in SPSS, what you're going to do is basically the same thing. It's just when you go up to the transform menu, you put in whatever percentile you want into this first column. And then under this menu, instead of the CDF function group, you're going to go down to the inverse CDF, inverse distribution function. And then find your inverse normal function, inverse.normal right here, and use that with the, the percentile which you put in the first column, and then the mean and the standard deviation. And what that will do is, given the percentile, it'll give you back the raw score that gives you up to that percentile. So uh, using these uh, CDF functions and inverse DF functions built into SPSS, you can save yourself a lot of time with the table lookups in the back of the book, and you'll be able to get through these questions in Chapter 5. All right, well, that'll do it for this video. I hope this has been useful, and I'll talk to you next time.